dear participants to our Jubileum Congress, dear friends and colleagues, dear supporters and beneficiaries of, of ERA, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I warmly welcome you to uh, this uh, important occasion. I'm really very happy to see you all here so numerous. Uh, on this occasion of our Congress to mark the fir first quarter of a century of ERA and its development into a unique <laughs> European institution. I believe that uh, you are here because you expect that it will be worth your while to take time in your busy schedules uh, to come to Trier for a couple of days in order to discuss and exchange views on very topical issues of EU and its law. ERA is both a training institution and a forum for exchange of views and for debate. Both are key elements of ERA's mission. I expect that you are here also because you appreciate and believe in the importance of that mission. And because you are familiar with the level of ambition as well as the actual quality of the activities that ERA is engaged in. Like many of you in the audience, I have personally known ERA for a long time, over two decades, and have seen the development which has been achieved. It is truly impressive. This positive piece of history can be celebrated today thanks to many of you who are present today. Above all, it can be celebrated thanks to the high level of professional skill and input by the staff of ERA, and thanks to the admirable commitment, energy, and enduring enthusiasm and dynamism of its management under the dedicated and untiring leadership of Wolfgang Heusel. I would... I would like to take this opportunity to once again pay tribute, and you already joined me in that, in a very visible and, and audible way, to pay, pay tribute to, to your invaluable uh, contributions uh, over so many years, and to really thank uh, all the t staff for giving us good reason to celebrate this past 20 years, and the uh, flourishing age of maturity which ERA has reached. Likewise, I would like to extend my thanks to those who serve and have served uh, in, on the governing bodies and who have provided and hopefully will continue to provide uh, external input and support which is invaluable for the development of ERA and its program of activities. My thanks uh, and my great appreciation to all of you come from the heart. Dear friends, uh, 25 years is not a very long time in history, but as we have seen, um, a lot can happen in a quarter of a century. While the occasion of our Congress is a celebratory one, the, our theme is rather less so. When ERA was founded, Europe was embarking into a promising era with the completion of the single market, the adoption of the Treaty on European Union, the EMU project, and the prospect for enlargement, first from 12 to, to 15, and then toward the big expansion leading up to the current EU of 28. We were then, uh, and in the many years that followed, in a period of historic change with hope and aspiration. The road ahead would be stony, but it was a road ahead. And efforts were made to achieve progress toward what we saw as a long-term project underpinned by widely shared goals and values. When we first started planning this Congress a couple of years ago, the situation seemed rather different. Today, the situation is even more different and, and in many ways uncertain. A tendency toward greater integration has shifted into a tendency of partial disintegration. When we had our first 
brainstorming to plan this event today and tomorrow. The Euro crisis had culminated, the Brexit referendum had been scheduled, and the advance of nationalist populist, even authoritarian tendencies in certain parts of the enlarged union was a reality. All this contributed to the choice of our theme and the setup of the program. Developments in the meantime have not rendered our theme irrelevant or outdated. A critical look is always important. We must uh, acknowledge the reality while not losing heart. I hope uh, the Congress can, can contribute to that, uh, that sense. Apart from the tragedy of Brexit, uh, we see today in, in other parts of the Union clear tendencies toward a rejection of the basic values on which the EU is founded and which I expressly set out in Article 2 of the, of the tr Union Treaty. The Union is founded on the values of respect for human dignity, freedom, democracy, equality, the rule of law, and respect for human rights, including the rights of persons belonging to minorities. These are values common to the member states. This is what uh, Article 2 says. Indeed, uh, in the EU, we are not just a club where the members can share this or that common interest or activity while they may differ on everything else with free movement, with mutual recognition, and with huge financial transfer mechanisms, we are more like a common household where a community of core values is seriously a condition for the sustainability of that union. How can mutual recognition be upheld if we cannot trust that the decisions truly respect the basic values of Article 2? And how can we justify large amounts of financial support within the union without being serious about whether all the member states live up to those core values? All this raises big issues about the authority of the law, but also well beyond. I fear that if the commitment to the core values cannot or will not be upheld, this may sooner or later bring about a real existential crisis for the Union. So far, I regret that we haven't heard much uh, from our leading politicians on this issue. We live in, an in, uh, live in an information age, yet we witness how moves of momentous importance and huge long-term consequences are made without being guided by truly informed choice. In times such as these, the mission of an institution such as ERA, which is to help enhance knowledge, professional competence, and the quality of debate seems all the more important. Dear friends, I thank you all for being here. I wish you a, an interesting Congress. I hope you find it meaningful. I wish ERA a good future in its own mission, and I, I wish for the EU to find its way without giving up on its core values. Thank you very much.